The different designs on the PoE MVR could bring you some unexpected issues. I have two PoE MVRs. The one on the left has one PCB board. The PoE switch and the MVR are highly integrated and it makes just into one PCB board. The one on the right has two PCB board. This is the MVR, this is the PoE switch. There's few wires to connect these boards together. The purpose of this design is to achieve the plug and plate. After we connect the camera to one of these PoE ports, the PoE MVR will detect the connection, assign an IP address to the camera, and establish the connectivity automatically. The user doesn't need to configure the IP address of the camera. With this design, the user probably need to manually add the camera to the never video recorder. However, there's downside with this design. It only allows single IP address to pass through this PoE port. Then the client made these issues. He followed the video tutorials on the YouTube and tried to set up this, config this network. He got five IP cameras at the edge. And since there's about 300 meters, he doesn't want to pull five pieces KFI Ethernet cables from the PoE MVR to the cameras. So he used the fiber optic cable and also the media converter connect the media converter to one of these PoE ports. Eventually, he saw just one camera on the window. He didn't see the rest of this camera. The reason is because the port only allowed single IP address, which means just one camera to pass through normally. The solution is replace this PoE MVR with this camera, this MVR without the PoE port. Then all the PoE cameras can pass through this LAN port and go to the MVR.